what is happening in the West from America uh, through throughout sort of Western and Eastern Europe? It's it's a fragmentation and a breakdown. And the successful parties are no longer to be understood on a left-right spectrum. They're actually a mixture of left and right. There are socialists who believe in leave. There are socialists who believe in remain. But leave and remain are now better predictors of who you're going to vote for than your past tribal identity. So what's really happening is, is realignment and fragmentation. And largely speaking, I want to suggest to you um, that the formulation that's taking place, and I think you, know, you, you got it in one, is nationalism on the one hand and extreme liberalism understood as identity politics on the other. And I want to suggest to you that neither of them ultimately, in my view, will work. Because we have been governed by extreme liberalism for, for really since since the time of Margaret Thatcher. You have extreme economic liberalism on the right, extreme social liberalism on the left. And they're a common project. And I always think it's incoherent to hear people on the left denouncing neoliberalism economically, but essentially upholding it socially and, and vice versa. So what is the liberal project that is now over? The liberal project is essentially a grand global project of extreme individualism and this grand global project at first appealed to the narcissism of the 1960s and the genuine injustices that the 1960s spoke to but what it creates is a dispensation economically that only favors those at the very very top um, if you look at the global distribution the famous elephant graph by uh, uh, Branko Milanovic he shows that really over the last 30, 40 years there's been no net gain for the vast majority of the working population from globalization. And the gain has been for the working class in the third world, whereas the working class and increasing the middle class in the first world has seen no genuine gain at all. You've seen the rise of rampant insecurity because insecurity stems from rampant individualism and we've created on the economic level forms of insecurity that were actually unthinkable uh, in the 60s or indeed uh, uh, the 70s. But on the cultural right, and culture we know outcompetes uh, uh, economics in any assessment of human behavior, uh, liberalism has essentially created a culture that oppresses majorities, that creates marginalized majorities through identity politics that are little more than middle class power games and attempts by middle class advocates to both virtue signal and gain power within a, a medium whereby solidarity has collapsed. So don't be surprised that nationalism is on the way back because nationalism by those who advocate for it is the only thing that will care for them. Nationalism uh, by its from the perspective it's of advocates is the only thing that will care for those who have lost out. Whereas liberalism won't. Liberalism uh, of, of the extreme left has become an upper middle class project. And so what we've got is a project where solidarity, i.e. looking after us all, has been captured by nationalism. And the project, the right wing project of extreme individualism is now followed by both left wing parties and right wing parties. That is the new divide, that is the new debate, that is where we are. For more debates, talks and interviews, subscribe today to the Institute of Art and Ideas at IAI TV.